Test. <laughs> One thing I've learned, if you don't hold their feet to the fire, everybody gets burned. Hold on, before you start waving around that freedom of speech thing, when you're in a crowded movie theater and you scream fire, you better be able to smell smoke. If you come on this radio show and you start saying incandescent things like that, you better have more behind you, pal, than just your thumb. I've been listening to talk radio for years, and one thing I just can't stand is when the host has to, like, push his way on the people, beat the callers into his way of thinking, extending his ego, or, or when the callers call in and say something so outrageous and the host lets it go unchallenged. The sign you're on the road to truth is the lack of contradiction. You want to find truth, you just don't simply believe somebody because of their authority or their degree or... You, you listen to what they say, you test it against reality, and you hold their feet to the fire. All right, we're back, and we are live, Feet to the Fire, Feet to the Fire Radio. I'm your host, James Athiancic, the Black Knight of Talk Radio, or so it was said back yonder in the days of the live radio. It's live today. It's webcast or podcast, whatever you want to call it, uh, being done on Spreaker, which is then uploaded in a quasi-video version to YouTube and then BitChute. That is the way to go. You could subscribe here at Spreaker. It's free for an account or whatever. You get a little app if you want to listen, whether it be live or in the podcast form. You can get that, log in, and uh, get an account there. It's free at Spreaker.com. It's like speaker with an R, Spreaker.com. And there's about 270-some back shows to choose from, and that's not even all of them. It goes, we got, uh, if you go to my website, feedtothefireradio.com, which has been um, banned from Facebook for some uh, obscure reason, uh, but uh, you can't get the links from there. But if you go to feedtothefireradio.com, there you can have access to all of the video, all the video and audio shows that go back to 2017 and then if you go to there's links there that'll take you to my google drive that contains the mp3 files that goes back to day well the earliest ones i have anyway i guess i lost the first four or so but um they're all there for your perusal anyway so we're back live i've been on a few weeks um I've been very busy with the chores of spring. I have limited time due to the work schedule I have. Uh, and so I have limited time uh, to uh, do a lot of stuff. So some things just got to get done. And it's not that I don't care about doing the show. It's just that there's only so many days. And uh, health has been fine, but very a very tiring and worn out uh, i think it has a lot to do has to do with the energy that's out there or is a lot of stuff going on and it takes its toll age probably doesn't help at all but uh another reason i've been avoiding to talk is that i'd like to be able to talk with something uh that i think would be um that what I'm saying might be an additional little piece to the puzzle that someone might want to listen to and 
and add a section or two of what I say into their uh, paradigm, understanding of the of the world or what have you, rather than just kind of just get out and talk. A lot I noticed uh, from the years of doing this and watching, a lot of people like to talk on the air or uh, visually, and they even watch themselves recording because that is the fun part about it. And it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I, I just uh, like to, I like to have information that someone who could use and uh, not just, you know, I don't know what the word would be. Uh, so anyway, I, I usually kind of wait and see when I have something to say. Uh, Milton uh, checking in through the little chat room here. By the way, if you're listening live, well, for that matter, if you're listening to podcasts, you can always leave comments in the chat room that's associated with the Spreaker system. It's a nice little system. I like it. I used to run my own broad broadcast from my own servers and whatnot. I, even back when I was syndicated on radio, I still do it on my own stuff. Nowadays, uh, you know, with, with things have advanced, back back in those days, 2003, you had to kind of do it all yourself or be in a radio station. Now it makes it a lot easier for people. Uh, so anyway, uh, back to what I was saying, the um, a lot of people will, will say stuff, and I, I just like to, I like to be moved to say things that perhaps somebody might like to listen to. I don't have humongous following, and that's fine, so I don't have... Uh, pressures and whatnots to come up with something new and exciting every week because there are many people doing that and I just wait till I have something to say. Now, it, with all that said, you think I have all this great stuff to say. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But um, what I am uh, noticing out there is there's a lot of uh, uh, the people who do speak, even when I'm here, when I talk to people one-on-one and hear things, there seems to be a uh, kind of a polar, uh, a polar dispersal from in bitterness or uh, some kind of uh, hopelessness, ennui, I guess, or something on one end, and the other side would be kind of delusional pseudo solutions. You know, like the one of the things I heard is Trump will be president come uh, August or so whatever. Now I can't say he won't be. I'm not. I'm not saying. Well, I know he won't be. I'm just saying that somebody saying that to me does not mean anything to me because there's nothing. There's no mechanism to it. And so this is what I seem to get out there: is people who are either embittered or they're delusional uh, in a positive sense. I also find there are people that are watching the plane crash. That's the way I put it. We're on a plane. It is heading down to the ground. I can either look out the window and see if I'm, I'm getting closer and closer and closer. Some people are saying that they're going to be, it'll be okay, it'll be fine. Other people have given up and don't care, and they're just watch, you know, watching it uh, go down. Other people are, uh, they're fixated in with the drama and upset and nervous of it falling down. I'm trying to not look out the window. It's like looking into the sun or looking into the abyss, you know, what when you do that, it does these things to your mind. Your mind is going like, well, you know what, I'm not going to, I don't want this to happen, so I'm either going to get very depressed or I'm going to get very optimistic uh, in, in, in a fantasy delusional sense. And so uh, I'm trying to avoid that. This is all on a personal level. I just, I'm trying to avoid it. I'm trying to f- not focus on all the stuff that's happening, the it's just one after the other after the other of engines blowing out of the plane, making its crash more sure. You know, this is what I see out there. I, I don't see how this could possibly turn around. Now, that being said, I still think that there's divine providence and uh, that if nothing else, God may intervene to... Um, to um, to thwart the arrogance of the the evil in charge or something like that. And so that's always in there. You know, there's always that wild card of what's going to happen. I uh, tend to follow the teachings of Jesus and thus his talking about the latter days and end times, which I think we're in based on his, his discussions. I guess I could do uh, a talk on that alone at some point. 
I have talked about it for quite a while here and there. Perhaps I could put together why I think this is what we're happening now, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I've already done that a few times, but. And so I'm looking at the end of latter days is coming, and it's going to be interesting how it comes and how it does, because obviously evil loses in the long run. How it actually loses would be very interesting to see. Uh, I would it'd be interesting to be part of that scenario, watching. And so that, that's the that's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the destruction of uh, the United States as we know it or the rise of globalism. I'm not looking at that. I'm kind of looking at how these things are being uh, displayed. We're, we're watching the revelation of the evil forces that have been in this planet for, you know, thousands of years. They're coming out into the open. They're being bold. They're being arrogant. They're being, they're, they're laughing and, and they're joyful about it. They're, people are bragging and saying uh, that, you know, I can't wait to have my first abortion and all this stuff. I mean, even back in the, you know, being, being uh, 64, back in the 70s, uh, when they were talking about abortion and all these things, they were. It was always a negative thing, a bad thing because of something happened, rape or incest or whatever. There's always this kind of like a, yeah, we don't know it's a good choice, but you know it's a necessity sometimes, and they're kind of quiet about it, and you know, and now it's just blatantly in your face, you know. So there's a lot of things that are happening that's never been that way before. Now I qualify that by saying in in this universalistic approach, there's always been absolute the abominable evil all throughout time. You can go through whatever despot you want to pick throughout the history of the various governments and whatnot in the world. You can go through all of that and find all kinds of terrible stuff, especially if you can like appear there and, and observe uh, beyond the history books, because a lot of them don't have history books per se from the era giving details. I mean, uh, it's anything you could th- think of. The, the, the difference now, though, is the the universal of it it is the level of it like through technology and and pharmaceuticals and uh weaponry and so on the things they could do to harm people are beyond are never happened before in history now i know that people say that they used to have atomic weapons in the past and other civilizations uh, yeah okay fine but i'm just talking about your basic uh history that we know there's there's not been these things you go back to the atrocities in Mao's Mao Zedong and go going to uh, Stalin you go to Hitler you go to all these areas and even in Hitler with the experimenting and all this stuff right now we're being experimented on uh, on mass with a a new biologic system to uh, modify your DNA which is your your physical fingerprint of who you are be able to modify this thing using false uh, figures and propaganda, I guess, to do it and all that. It's on a mass scale. I mean, in the past, yes, they've tested on various uh, cities. They put radiation in there. They tested on various groups like races and blacks. There's history of uh, in, in localized uh, testing. Uh, um, gonorrhea, is it gonorrhea or syphilis? I forgot, was introduced into black communities and you know, all kinds of other, you know, things. There's talk about smallpox being introduced into the Indian culture in, in the past. So, I mean, there's all kinds of things have happened. So it's like nothing is new under the sun, to quote Solomon, the alleged preacher in uh, Ecclesiastes. But it is the, to me, it is the brazenness and the level of it, it the the uh, unprecedented level and, and brazen I mean, back, going back to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, all kinds of evil is going on there. I mean, you know, uh, Lot shows up and they have the two angels with him right away. People want to have sex with him, you know, oh, strange flesh, you know, all this stuff. All this stuff has been happening, you know. So it's not like oh, there's it is the the point now where you can chemically uh, and 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 through surgery alter uh, sexes and. Uh, you know, you can. You're even. They're even working on now uh, combining genes from animals. And so now we're talking about 
coming up with Chimera and other things, which has never been able to do before because there was a biological block. You can't, you can't through natural, uh, well, artificial insemination using the natural process of combining the uh, sperm and egg. You you know you can't take you know an ape and a human or you know a dog and a cat a, a cat or a dog or a horse and a you know you can't do that because the natural biological process would would uh, wouldn't work and when when you got far enough away if it did work in the case of like a uh, I got I get the names mixed up donkey ass uh, I forgot which one is the mix between a dog and a, a horse and a and a donkey i guess uh but uh you know they're sterile or or you get the chicken and the turkey you get the turkey well you know they're sterile because they're close enough for the biological process to work but it's not going to reproduce itself anyway you know? well now we can bypass it we can blow right past all of that and now with these uh biologics that are going to be able to manipulate the dna you can you can also change in real time but theoretically you know if, if you take this down the road and look at it you can start adding other type of gene DNA stuff at once it's perfected and worked on, and you can start adding animal traits to you. You know, you can start uh, having real time changes, not in future generations, but in, in current ones. These are all these are all outgrowth potentials. I'm not being exaggerating or making stuff up. These are things that can happen down the road. The potentials are are unprecedented in history, both in brazenness and in uh, just harm so this is why i you know i think that we're in these later days so so what i'm what i am doing and perhaps would offer uh, and if perhaps you're saying yeah that's what i'm doing but is to watch in in referring to jesus uh talk about what's going to happen toward the end days i can look up the verse again i don't have it memorized i've posted it many times so uh, but, you know, people tune in the show to listen for the first time, you know, like every time somebody may be new and I can't just uh, accept my ability to <clears throat> multitask is diminishing. Biblegateway.com. That's what I use for, uh, all right, we're going to get... Uh, Matthew, I think it's 24 or 25. It'll uh, become apparent when I get there. And ASB. Um, yeah, okay. So, so G, look up Matthew 24 if uh, you have a Bible. Any any type will work. <clears throat> and again, I'm 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 a Jesusist. I guess you want to call it. I follow him like I would a m- mentor or a uh, teacher a master and all that stuff. So I'm mean, using Jesus' words would be the basis to which other things would would work on it. But uh, uh, you'll be hearing of wars, rumors of wars, see that you're not alarmed, for those things must take place. But that is not yet the end. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. But all these things are merely a beginning of birth pains. <clears throat> 